just did spaghetti squash. I don't know if I've made a video on spaghetti squash. It's been a long time since I've made like these kind of videos. Bear with me. I usually find the smallest spaghetti squash in the store. My husband isn't a huge fan. My kids prefer spaghetti. It's not better for them. Easier for me to get them to eat the spaghetti. I'm being honest. I love spaghetti squash. I usually make a spaghetti squash like every two weeks. <laughs> I got a lot of freaking spaghetti squash here. This was enormous. <laughs> it was huge. Another reason why I don't like to make such a large spaghetti squash is because it's hard to cut it in half. I don't want to have to be like the damsel in distress and ask my husband, could you cut it in half before you go to work, please? Like, mm. anyway, what I did was I turned my oven on to 350, didn't even wait for it to heat up. The whole kit and caboodle, not seasoned, nothing. I took a spaghetti squash, put it on a cookie sheet and put it right into the oven. <laughs> About 20 minutes later, turned it. About 10 or 15 minutes after that, I took it out. It was a little warm. I waited like five or 10 minutes so that I could touch it. And then I took a serrated knife. I easily cut it in half. I mean, it wasn't like butter. I had to saw. We have the Jinsu knife. Remember the Jinsu or is it Ginsu? The one from the commercials, it's the same one. So I cut it in half. This thing looks so simple and it's so fabulous. There's a large end and a small end. And if you can, I think you can see the little teeth. See the little teeth on there? Okay, it's kind of serrated on the edges. All you do is you take the half of a spaghetti squash and you, you're leaving the flesh about three inches around the perimeter, but you're just taking those middle seeds out. This makes it so easy, so easy. Plus, I had already like sort of par baked it in the oven with it closed, so to speak. Total piece of cake. Only seasoning that I put on it was light adobo. I just sprinkled a little bit of light adobo. It's the one with the light blue cap. Before I did that, I used olive oil spray in the aerosol can, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I ran out of uh, like loose olive oil for my misto, you know, the, the thing that you have to pump up. Anyway, so I did olive oil, light adobo, and then nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is listed in the condiment section on the Optavia weight loss plan. Two tablespoons of large flakes is a serving. One tablespoon of small flakes is a serving. Usually I'm not so like you have to be scientific about measuring your condiments if they're spices, but this is not quite just a spice. One and a half tablespoons does have 70 calories. So this is kind of like something that you should pay attention to. This is kind of like Parmesan, but it's totally vegan, which is so awesome because you didn't have to kill any animals in order to eat this. And it's really super, super delicious. It makes things taste kind of cheesy. It's only got one gram of fat per one and a half tablespoons. And it has eight grams of protein per one and a half tablespoons, which means that you're making that glycemic index a little bit more fat girl friendly when you're talking about the 70 calories that the serving has. I think it's kind of interesting that their version of a serving is like exactly one and a half of what Optavia calls. So, so it's a nice round figure. You're adding eight grams of protein to your serving of food. But I am not considering my serving of spaghetti squash to have a full one or two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. That was just to sort of coat the top and give it a little something something. By the way, once I cut it in half and then seasoned it, I put it back into a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes, okay? Until a fork went into it nice and romantically, if you know what I'm saying. I can't tell you how firm your spaghetti squash is. I can't tell you what, how your oven is going to work. You have to just figure it out for yourself. How do I now eat this? I put it into containers and I put it into the fridge. If I want to, I can put like chili on top. I can make like a bed for tomato sauce. I can make it into like a parmesan -y kind of a thing and do tomato sauce and cheese if I want to. Cooked chicken or cooked tofu. Uh, turkey, even salmon would be absolutely delicious with some parsley and dill. <gasps> uh, so yeah, you blacken a little bit of salmon and cube it up in there and then you just have it like on a bed of that. You can also do, and I've done this before, you can get the light Alfredo sauce, the ragu, I know. I know! My grandfather would is probably rolling over in his grave knowing that I buy ragu light Alfredo sauce. No, is it, or is it the Bertoli? 
I can't remember which one it is. I, it's been a long time since I've eaten it, like literally a year and a half, something like that. But it's delicious. It's so good. And you eat just like half of a serving. And you can even thin it out with some almond milk on the stove. Just cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it. Oh, oh, oh. Alfredo sauce with salmon in this. That would be, mmm, mmm. Oh, I want that for dinner now. Mm. Anyway, that's how I do spaghetti squash. I have two huge containers now of spaghetti squash waiting for me. I have to be honest though, a lot of times I'm the only one in the house eating it and this is too much. So I'm gonna have to give it to my kids for dinner. They're gonna have to eat it. They're okay with it as long as I put a lot of sauce and I, I buy the Gardein faux meatballs. They're made with soy, like tofu kind of thing. They love those. They like those better than regular meatballs. So if as long as I give them a lot of those meatballs and I say, you're not allowed to have the meatballs until you finish the spaghetti, they go ahead and they gobble up the spaghetti and then they're getting the fiber. But those Gardein meatballs have a lot of fiber in them too because they're made with vegetable protein. So anyway, there is my little spiel about spaghetti squash. My name is Andrea and I'm a health coach. If you want any more information about what we're talking about here, you're more than welcome to message me. All of my information is everywhere. You can friend me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. You can email me at teammetallicamom at gmail.com. Talk to you later. Bye.